Wow. Wow. Oh, there you go. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Sintel with Intel, and I'm here with the beautiful uh, Michael Claire. Thanks, uh, Sintel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody doing out there? I hope you're doing good because we are getting ready to jump into peripheral. Per 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 oh, per you had it right the first time. Nah, episode eight. This one is called uh, The Creation of a Thousand Forests. I have no Ooh. idea what that means, but we are going to get started. Make sure you give us those thumbs up. Let's go. I forgot the mama's back in the in the hospital. Blind. Hey. Oh no, that's not oh, the mama. No. Walter Reed. Oh, this must be back. Yeah. When he first when had he first it happen. Hurt. Yeah. Oh yeah, see, twenty twenty eight. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, remember Constantine to kill some folk. Yeah. Still got the pistol in his hand. A, a pistol in a suburban, boy. That is Wait. country as it gets. Wait, well, what about the knuckles, the brass? Oh, oh. Yeah, but we don't know if he closed out Pickett though. I don't think he did for no, Pickett. I don't think so either. Yeah, remember they had a conversation after. Yeah. He shot him. Pickett? Yeah, he shot him to the window with the with the sound suppressing gun. That was the sheriff, I thought. No, he killed the sheriff. Oh, and then okay. He shot Pickett. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I don't think Pickett is dead. Yeah, see, he's calling it, calling it in like it's somebody else. How is that gonna work? Did he tell him where to come? Yeah, right. Maybe they got, <laughs> you know, this is the future, so maybe they oh. got automatic GPS. Okay, somewhere. you're right, you're right, you're right. On the run? Yeah, because he said the the, per, the suspect's on the run. Yeah, I thought they were talking about the guy that he, that got free from him. Oh, you know, you're right. But yeah. I'm just wondering what happened to Pickett. We don't have any. Okay, we'll find out. Let me yeah. shut up. Yeah, Pickett has a pulse. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, too legit to quit. Pickett's, yeah, Pickett's too big of a character to die. You can see his tummy moving. Mm -hmm. uh, shots fired. Clanton urgent med. It's got to be our perp. Oh, remember that's remember that's his girl, his fiance, where his fiance is. That's right. Yep. Here we go. Why don't you check your phone? Oh my gosh. He's having a traumatic day. Yes, he is. He's killed people first, and now bodies. Bodies. Oh wait, where's the, where's his fiance? There she is. Tell me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. Shot him dead. What? I forget who killed Bob again. Who killed Bob? If Dr. Newland has her way, your friend won't be the last. I don't remember. I assume you'd like to stop her. Yeah, of course. Oh, they did. Um, what you call it? Uh, Burton did. They, they sniped him. Oh, okay. Okay. Considering the factors at play here, which I've only just become cognizant of. What do you mean? You have much more than Cherise Newland to deal with, as daunting as the good doctor undoubtedly is. <laughs> <laughs> and daunting as the good do doctor, doctor undoubtedly, undoubtedly is. is. Mm. I'm sick. I need you to heal her. Like you promised you'd do at the start of this whole thing. Mm. He said it could, could have some side effects. He did say it. Not gonna happen. The auntie's best estimate is your mother has another 554 hours to live. Approximately 23 days. Wow. They could tell you oh, dang. to she the day. I'll go talk to her. No, she went out. Please do. Oh, that's yeah. what that was. Yeah. Dang. No, he was clear. He was like, it was, he gave him a percentage of success. Promised us. My man got out the way. Mm-hmm. These two just seem so <coughs> unimportant, but they keep like bringing them back into the well, they're the tech guys. Yeah, I know who they are. Yeah, you know, the guy in the van. You need a guy in the van. Oh, okay. I'm like, oh, she got bacteria in her spine or something, remember? Yeah. They well, keep. She don't know that. No, I'm just saying. We do, though. They keep forgetting that. 
They said how many days? 23 days? Or yeah, what? 20 something days. Oh, 523 okay. hours. At least, <laughs> at least she doesn't have to think that, you know, that was her last closing of the eyes right there. Because yeah. she knows that there's. Yeah, that part. Yeah. That's Secret Ash. Meeting. Oh, yeah. Ash and Therese. Very little. I suppose you'll be expecting a reward for bearing me these ill tidings. I want you to kill him. Damn, she said, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you'd be willing to use your presence in Mr. Zuboff's household to assist in the endeavor. She's got double pupils, which is interesting. I just now noticed it. Mm hmm. Along with her hometown family, the whole benighted region. Damn. The whole what region? So she's gonna push the jackpot in the past in order to, okay. Yeah. But it's gonna mess up their research. That's what Yeah, okay. I heard all that. What is up with the Sorry, bottle well. tag? Oh, I missed it. See? Oh. The bottle cap, the old school ones. Like it, looked like it looked like it was like just a part of his outfit. Hey. She took charge of me. I would have died without her. Where'd you go after that? The streets. The ruins. Mm, the single tear. Denzel did. A few years after we were adopted. Mm. Alita planned it. Squirreled away supplies. Mapped our route back. We lasted for eight months or so in our own little kingdom. Wow, eight months? I don't know, draw my own conclusions by the way that you feel. Oh, huh, that's interesting. It's also going to make their bond that much deeper. Ready? Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Glenn Fisher. Oh my Man, gosh. She, she had to ask. Of course she did. She wants to know if she's being played. I'm not mad at that either, though. We kind of want to know. Wolf Leatherson. Oh, she's asking him. Her. He's asking her. Mm -hmm. The hand with no thumb. Your secret place. Christ. I'm such a fool. They really are just now thinking of that. Your own get. Learn in a winer now. Mm. Learn in a now. Did you catch that? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> sure this is where it is? But it wasn't like this. It was forest. Trees as far as you can see. Forest. Building the forest or whatever. Yeah. But that could be that illusion thing that they were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. Well... Remember when he was talking to her at the very beginning of the mm -hmm. series? Or can send to myself. Mm. Your choice. Yeah, I ain't mad at her. Yeah, make a choice. Go home. <laughs> it's so weird to see a young child point the gun like that. <clears throat> <laughs> She's like, I'm not playing with you. Yeah, it is Alita. Get to getting. I was too young. You were seven, Wolf. <laughs> it was too young for many things, but remembering isn't one of them. Well, some mm. stuff you block out, though. If it's traumatic enough. Yeah. Everything. There's bodies here. On this beautiful green turf, thousands mm. and thousands of bodies. Interesting wow. shot. Your mother's here. Dang. And your sisters. Wow. And your little brother. Goodness. And you'd remember them if you just cut yourself free. Mm. My family too. Oh my gosh, that was fast. Hey. Are you just gonna stand there with your hands in your pockets? Fucking pick it up. <laughs> Leader boy. And not just here, all over England. Mm. It was a little coordinated effort. Five million people in under a fortnight. Now that's wow. quite an achievement, isn't it? Don't you think? Goodness. Five million? Gracious. She's like Robin Hood up in this bad boy. I'm gathering mm -hmm. them. A little army of the dispossessed, you know, render justice. What could you possibly plan to accomplish with this rabble? And with like five people. The secrets to every wonder that the R.I. have ever built. The affinity in the palm of your hand. And where would you possibly get that? Lynn. 
inside the girl's head. Yep. Mm. Remember? Wow. That is where it is, though. Remember? Yep. Who's going to get to it first? Mm. You know what? 10% chance of survival or something like that. You just said I should prepare for the worst. Well, I'm real sorry for your loss, you know. And we all are. Yep, but I'm kind of glad. He's not dead yet. You know what I mean. He went out fighting, and we owe it to him to carry on his legacy. They, he's not even dead yet. Well, I was always his number two. The fuck you were. All right, all right. Let's say we approach this thing like, um, uh, what do you call it? Four idiots. Right? <sighs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, but there's four of us. So it's a quadrumprint. <laughs> a quadrumprint. <laughs> oh. Oh, they're not even considering him. Drive for us, Jasper. Wash our cars and shit. Oh, absolutely. No. You do a great job with them cars. Now. <laughs> they laughed at him. Let's get a fresh one of these. Mm. I would take that thing Don't. and smash it over his head. Oh, no. But he, he probably knows he's not, you know, he's not equipped for that. I know, but that's the only way you're going to start. It's the only way you're going to start. When I tell you I would smash that on his head. Put it on your uncle's tab. Just to honor it. Also, he's probably fighting for something different, too, because, you know, he got. Yeah, but then why even be there? His uncle was protecting him. No, I mean, but why be there right now? Oh, I don't know. I think they're just now piecing it together. He just came in the bad time. I don't know. <laughs> Open the fucking window. What? Open the fuck. Oh, that is disgusting. Yeah. You're going to have to clean that up now, Jasper. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? That no, he's about to snap. I can feel it. Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, that does look like a. Yeah, he was raised by his his uncle. Now yeah. let's remember that. It'd be funny if he did um, what his uncle did in that in that car. Oh. That one time. Lock him in. And yeah. Yeah. Have him cook. Yeah. I mean, that would be a reason why they showed it to us. Yeah, some foreshadowing. Mm -hmm. hmm. oh. oh. Let me tell you why that's not smart. Because they can wake up at any time. Yes. But they they got that drunken sleep though right now too. But I mean they could wake up and the train could not come. Jasper. You remember that fight we had about Monopoly? What time is it? Everybody fight over Monopoly. <sighs> I was about to make a huge fucking mistake. Here comes the train. Here comes the train. I knew it. Do you risk Nothing. your- I love you. I'll be home soon. Do you risk your life to save them? Is he going to try to pull them out rather than get in the car? Oh, he locked on the doors. Fuck. That's funny because you can't lock the car. You can't lock the keys in the door. You can't? No. If, the car, if, if it's already in there, that's what gives it access to open. Town is catching a lot of bodies. A lot. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's all your uncle's crew. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? All these bodies. That's a bodies, lot. Bodies. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. No, I'll say I have a chill entry on my car. And yeah. as long as the fob is inside of the vehicle, the doors, you can't lock yourself out. They say they're planning to blow up a missile silo. Remember? And you know there's that new uh, Air Force mm -mm. silo down towards Spring Creek. 
Mm-mm. Big one. They admit that the jackpot started off early with the nuclear device going off in this hometown. Oh, okay. Okay. Anything. And then add to the I fact, uh, what's her name? Uh, Sharice is saying that she's going to speed it up. Yeah. She knows a way to do it. Oh, okay. So that's Sharice's plan. So why did he get a phone call about this? I mean, he's the law enforcement. Homeland Security is saying that, you know, put a word out because Make it. this uh, stuff is happening. I got to go back. Who's making? One of the kids is what I'm assuming. One of the, the brain nerdy kids. Oh, okay. That's what I'm assuming. Everyone that I love. It's just a fucking game to you, isn't it? They don't care about y'all's time. No, of course when they, they don't. So. They care about their own. As they should. And you see, only Sharice cared about was the data. Yeah. That they lost. There you go. I'm like, why are you storming off into the, like, you better log out, ain't you? And it's not, <laughs> there's no way that she would win. They got their work cut out for them, don't they? Why are we here? So we can talk? Stop being overheard? But they know you're in the thing. That's the whole thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Connor said that he'd help. Are you absolutely certain? Yeah. It's crazy to me that she thinks she can make these decisions for about everybody else. I know, but... <laughs> Just because you're a gamer doesn't mean you're stronger than every other person I'm in the around. future. <laughs> That's so crazy to well, me. It's kind of like in the 80s when we watched those uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger movies and Sylvester Stallone movies. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your shit. <laughs> Remember I was saying like the 80s action stars? Mm -hmm. it, it, it reminds me of how they always have like the one-liners. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. That's the line, huh? Why are you picking that up? Uh, I mean, she obviously knows what she's doing. Apparently, uh, no. mom told her something. <laughs> That's right. Let's gamify this. <laughs> Man, you got just knocked out with some old medieval ish. Damn. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> Not, give me that stuff. <laughs> hmm. 2028, 20, 2032, 20, all the different timelines. And you have no idea where I'm going to be. Not without the coordinates. So 2032 in an off branch, huh? The thing that makes me angry is she doesn't understand or know all of the consequences of that. No. Well, that's what she was just telling her. She's like, you have no idea. Yeah. And then whatever, mom. Thank you. You want a reboot, like in a Sam. It could save us, Connor. So are they in a whole new timeline? Is that I, what don't, I don't know. Hmm. Fuck. Well, he gets what he wants, and that's a whole new body. Maybe. Some body. Two kilometers out. Burton's full of shit. It was at least three clicks. <laughs> Killer. Yeah. Who, Flynn? Yeah. Yeah. I get it. But obviously, once her consciousness is already left. Yeah. What What I don't understand is that sounds good for her consciousness being yeah. in different time spaces, but I thought the I know it's a lot. Information was in her DNA. I thought it was too. Sandy, I've made peace with it. I did too. So even when she dies, 
Her the body, body is still, still there. there. Yeah. Now past Hawthorne Creek. So I'm sure there's an explanation that we're not seeing. This isn't the finale, is it? I uh, maybe. Yeah. Oh. There's that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> it felt a little final. Yeah. In some regards. Ooh. Shall we get to work? So she's free, unrestricted. But now that's her new home. That's interesting. Love you. Damn. And she, <laughs> she must have turned him in or she knows what's happening. Wow. He's like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, she knows something. Ooh, look how sharp he is. Sharp. Mm -hmm. They just look like old money, don't they? Yes, they do. I receive. I was supposed to meet my father. Your father sends his regrets. Wasn't feeling well. Not in the best of health. You understand. As such, he <laughs> asked us to speak with you. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Never my intent. I uh, sincerely apologize. <laughs> Love the way his arm and is slung across that chair. <laughs> that you forgive me. That should suit his shop. Yes, it is. <laughs> Should see your <laughs> I think that maybe that's poison in that cup though. Something something's not right. Damn. Bonnie Matt. Cauterize the wound, son. Or the orchard keeper will be coming for a visit. Spontarum. <laughs> Spontarum. You hungry? Yeah. Hmm? I'm saying, you hungry? Fucking waiter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, we knew Gang Gang was savage though. He got to get rid of all of his toys. I just think it's interesting that his dad didn't even come. No. Yeah. He sent his people. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, well, okay. Here's the thing. I as the series as a whole, I think is great. The season finale just ended on a kind of just an okay kind of thing. It's like, oh, okay. Well, that's that's kind of. You know, I wasn't the whole realization. I think I was supposed to have like this mind blown kind of moment to realize that, you know, she's going to be like jumping bodies or she'll sacrifice her own real world body, keep mm -hmm. her conscious going, mm -hmm. work with mom in order to keep the data out of, you know, the gang's hands and keep it out of the research institute's hands and figure out a way to slow down uh the the jackpot mm -hmm. but i just didn't have like that full-blown oh my god the aha uh -huh kind of moment me neither it was just kind of like oh okay all right yeah i feel like last episode was was better than this one and then you know it was kind of strange because of the way that they highlighted um oh my gosh jasper uh-huh and you know that i don't understand the relevance of that in the finale well, I think the whole through line is cut and bait, cut and bait and run. And as far as Pickett's line is concerned, uh, Jasper indirectly cut all of the loose ends while Pickett is kind of like in his coma, kind of like recuperating. Mm -hmm. So any loose ends from there, they're more streamlined and ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw Flynn do the same thing regarding, you know, uh, cutting ties with her brother and family and everybody else mm -hmm. in order to streamline and, you know, get what needs to be done sacrificing family and everything else and now we see it going on with lev as well well he's he's being forced to have to do it mm -hmm. so you know the whole thing i think the title of this episode is um the creation of a thousand forests in order to keep the thousands of people being buried under the under where the forest used to be if you make the proper sacrifices you'll get more opportunities to create thousands of different more opportunities and not just have to worry about the dead under one I guess that's that's does okay. that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still like I said, it, it just a lot of it. I feel like for it to be the season finale right. just seemed not as like crucially important as I figured that it would necessarily be. Okay, like her and Wolf, 
they had a whole conversation, a whole connection linking and all yeah. that stuff. And then he was barely in the episode other than him talking to Lita and Alita. And it's just, I don't know. There's just certain parts of it that I'm just like, is that season finale worthy? Yeah. Well, I know I feel you on that. Mm -hmm. Well, cause we, the thing is, is that the second last episode was so good, but we've had, we've talked about this many times before when it comes to like series and typically the second to last mm -hmm. series, the second to last episode of the series mm -hmm. normally has the most action. Mm -hmm. And then you're left with, you know, tying up some smaller loose ends sense. for the season finale and then the build up for whatever the next season is supposed to bring in. So it, it went on with the normal, you know, series tropes. Yeah. You yeah. Know, because the second last episode was absolutely absolutely brilliant yeah. i liked the episode i thought it was a good episode but like you said like is it like am i left on someone like oh my god i can't believe that just no. happened no, I, I'm, no. Not, I'm not left with that no um it just opens up more questions because like you said regarding wolf is that you know the big there's there's typically in modern in modern series mm -hmm. there's got to have like a romance element yeah. you know in most shows in yeah. most shows that's yeah. what it is and in this one uh it's going to be you know it's gonna be wolf and they and i thought i thought it was cool how they went about it though you know mm -hmm. in order to find the answers you had to search through it search for those answers through emotion yeah i've never seen that before okay so i was really i was really intrigued with that mm -hmm. you know that, i thought that was pretty dope mm -hmm. um how about you anything else that kind of like stood out um you know we know corbell's still alive yeah we know constantine's kind of getting an idea of some stuff that's happening um still like even with his character Mm -hmm. not the most relevant yeah i don't know what to do with constantine <laughs> is he going to you know maybe be full dark side now that you know now that he's crossed the line that kind of makes it hard to be a hero anymore i don't know he still has his wife though yeah so i don't know that's what i'm saying i'm like i don't really understand the significance of his role yeah i think uh he may be next up regarding helping to run the town maybe not maybe. Say, maybe not the same fashion as Pickett. yeah and and of course Pickett's nephew um jasper jasper he doesn't strike me as the type to lead no he's a follower and maybe he might fall in line and then we'll have like the the waiting does he wake up does he not wake up with uh with Pickett? oh yeah which yeah. of course he's gonna wake up eventually yeah but they when he wakes up his kingdom is going to be or here's the thing you never know if he's gonna even remember yeah anything yeah so yeah i mean it was some it was some big sacrifices yeah you know even even the research institute made a huge sacrifice well was going to make a huge sacrifice yep and that is throw away all of their years of data yeah um but so you know what you brought up something that i that i thought was kind of interesting and that was the relationship uh between connor and flynn oh yeah and uh you yeah. had mentioned something to the point that it may be a little bit more maybe they have some some kind of history mm -hmm. and I was like, well, maybe, maybe not, maybe. And it still could be, but to me, what it feels like to me with Flynn living in a whole different timeline and then using the old established London that we've been going to as her hub in order to, to move information, it feels to me that Connor is going to take the responsibility of making sure she's all right and be the new burden for her, if that makes sense. I don't know if it's going to be a romance thing mm -hmm. with the two of them. It feels to me that it's even more brother sisterly because that goodbye, it didn't. There wasn't anything to me. It mm -hmm. didn't seem implied that it was more mm -hmm. than just like I'm saying goodbye to you. You're dear to me in a in a brother sister kind of way. Or, well, or did, go ahead. No, go ahead. The thing is, for me, like first of all. Where the heck is Burton in all of this? Well, I think he's going to be the in-between. He's going to be the in-between between her old world, her old timeline, mm -hmm. and where she's hiding because nobody can know where she's from because she has the information. So she's hiding in an undisclosed space. And I don't even think, um, I don't even think mom knows, ma'am knows, whatever. She has yeah, of course name she does because they, they were at the same place at the end. No, 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 no. She oh. knows, like, they, they, when they share the same... when they London is the new central timeline now. Uh -huh. So when she goes there, she just knows she's coming from an undisclosed place. She doesn't know where. So oh, nobody okay. nobody knows where Flynn is, or know where her new... Stub? Stub is going to be. Right. Okay. Okay. I think... Okay. Please correct me in the chat if, I, if I'm wrong. That's the whole thing, is that she has to remain, you know, anonymous. Yeah. And, and so she's hiding herself in, in the different timelines. So does, but does Connor know? 
Because you said no. that he's going to well, be well, like Con a... Connor knows. Yeah. Yeah, but I think... I think she's trying to separate herself from everything so that there's no more risk to the town. Mm -hmm. So when she's cutting all these people off, like Burton and all that, like I think she's going to have to cut them off completely so that the R.I. doesn't take you know, mm -hmm. repercussions on her timeline and mm -hmm. kill and destroy everybody. Mm -hmm. But the only person that she knows and that she can trust is Connor. And that's why she told Connor the idea and then also made Connor be the one to take her life and all that other stuff. Okay. So it's all about securing securing the data so that nobody can find it and then losing the data in the timeline. Okay. I think. Okay. Cor correct me if I'm incorrect okay. on that. that that's, that's what I've surmised because like we said a few times you know, dealing with the pseudoscience in this, it's it can be a little daunting. Mm -hmm. You have to like really pay attention. Unlike if it's a book, you know, you're like mm -hmm. you read it and you're like, I don't know if I really got that. You can just go back and reread mm -hmm. it. This this doesn't really have that same kind of effect, yeah. especially if you're only going to watch it like one, one time through. Uh, I am glad that uh, we did get a chance to stick around for a little bit later because mm. so, there was a, mm. a very large post credit screen mm -hmm. uh, that was dealing with, with Lev Zuban. And uh, the, the relationship oh. with the with the family, the mob side of mm -hmm. everything, the clep, the clept, clept. Clep. yeah, clep, clep, yeah, the clep. I think of like klepto, kleptomaniacs. Oh, okay. People yeah, are still, I'm like the clep, clep, clep. Yeah, the clep, clep, the clep, 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 clep. I don't know. Um, <laughs> the yeah, so they they I think they kind of like set the tone for me as to what the overall arching theme of this episode was. That is like cutting loose ends. Okay. So, and that's pretty much what they said. They're like, we're going to force you have to do it. And come to find out, Ash was actually, you know, ahead of the game. Because she kind of, I think she knew that this was going to happen regarding uh, uh, Lev Zuboff and the Klept. And that's why she was like, we got to figure out a safe place to land. And then when then when Zuboff hurt her friend, um, Ossian, I think that's his name, mm -hmm. when he scratched his face, that was like the last straw because, you know, you you know he's, he's untrustworthy. And he... And he's already shown that you don't really mean a lot. You don't really have a lot of value to him. Well, remember they were already they had already placed themselves in there uh, for some particular reason, yeah. other than just being his employees. Yeah. So they had another agenda to begin with. Yeah. Yeah. So then once uh, he caught them, she was like, "Oh, we got to save ourselves," and that's when she went to Cerise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I was kind of hoping like Cerise would have had like a super dope moment to close out the season because I, I really like her yeah all of but that that's what that i'm saying really i was like wah, wah, wah. Yeah, yeah. yeah all right well <laughs> hey what did you all think about the the episode as a whole or what do we get right what do we get wrong what did we miss and if this is your first time uh checking this out we have the links to previous episodes down in the description hey go out of your way if you want to help support the channel <laughs> get some merch we got stickers <laughs> we got shirts all of the good stuff is a great way of just saying uh, thank you. Uh, and of course, check out Michael Clary's channel. Snooty Vegans. Snooty Vegans. Lock Journey. Vegan mm -hmm. Lifestyle. Life as we know it. Link in description. Follow along. Subscribe. Tons of fun. Oh. Bang. What she said. Easy peasy. Lemon <laughs> squeezy. We will catch you all on the next project. All right. Take care. Peace.